What's up guys, Jared Lloyd here. I am in a longleaf pine savanna today looking for carnivorous plants to do a little bit of macro photography with. I love this part. Because of the poor quality soils in this area, a lot of the species of plants that live here have actually evolved specifically to digest insects. So these are carnivorous plants or insectivorous plants. Longleaf pine savannas in the associated Pocosin swamps are essentially a savage garden filled with all kinds of exotic and crazy meat-eating plants. And that's what we're out here for. That's what we're looking for today. And that's what we're gonna be photographing. So I'm actually inside of the Pocosin Swamp right now, and you can see from the background here, I'm literally surrounded by pitcher plants at the moment. Well, as I was walking through here, I'm always keeping an eye out inside of these things for different creatures. So the pitcher plants actually attract and lure in insects that then get down inside of it and drown basically inside of their digestive enzymes or their digestive juices. So other species, however, have evolved to actually take advantage of these pitcher plants to help them catch food as well. Well, and that's exactly what I just found. So if you look inside of this pitcher plant, there's actually what's known as a pine woods tree frog. It's really cool. They're absolutely beautiful. And so I was out here looking for Venus flytraps, but we're going to switch gears here for a moment and uh, we're going to set up and photograph this frog. So when it comes to using flash guys, we can kind of distill everything down to two key concepts. The first is fill flash. The second is going to be using the flash as a primary source of light. Now for me personally, when it comes to macro photography, that's what I like to do. I like to use my flash as the primary source of light. So that way I can really take control of the whole lighting ratio out here and really create something unique and sexy and artistic. So the number one thing that you have to remember when it comes to actually using your flash as a primary source of light is that it simply cannot be coming from the same direction as your camera. You have to get it off axis with the lens. Now that doesn't mean that it can't be attached to the camera itself. It's just that you have to figure out a way to get that flash coming in from over here or from over here, for instance. It just can't be coming from the same direction as your lens. Otherwise, you're gonna create that overly flashed look that just simply destroys a photograph. So this is a pretty typical rig right here for me when I'm shooting macro photography. It might look a little bit complicated, but it's really not. All we have going on here is a flash bracket. That's this kind of semi-circle, if you will. This itself is a telescoping flash extender. It just allows me to get my flash even further away from my camera. You've got the flash here, obviously. And then of course, there's a micro softbox right there. It looks complicated, it looks crazy, but it's really quite simple. And the whole idea behind this thing, again, is to get this flash off access with this camera right there. Okay guys, so if you wanna learn how to use flash like I did back there, then you're definitely gonna to wanna to make sure that you catch the next edition of the Photographer's Journal. When I